Hello friends, it's me Nishi here with a new video on Animal Kingdom. Actually, it's a very big chapter but to be honest, it's very easy when you have the short tricks and ideas to learn it easily. No worries, I'm here to help you. Before we start the video, kindly subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get notified whenever I post new videos. And if you are reading the comments right now, kindly come back. Please do make sure you watch the whole video to get benefited. Without any further delay, let's get started. So first let's look at the trick to learn the names of phylum. Actually the trick is PC square PA cube MEHC. I find it easy to learn this way itself that is PC square PA cube MEHC. But many of you may find it difficult to memorize this like a formula. So I have other trick. If you want you can learn it as such that PC square PA cube MEHC. Or you can learn this uh, trick also that is pour coffee and tea in plate of Asian arts for me in his college. This makes no sense but if you think you can make or give it a sense okay. Actually it's uh, we are asking someone to pour coffee and tea. In what? In what we are asking them to pour them? A pour the coffee and tea. We are asking them to pour the coffee and tea in plate of in plate of Asian arts. Actually, you have to learn this Asian arts because when here A cube, you will get confused about what's A cube. So Asian arts, Asian arts, A S for Ascalmentus, H E N, A N, A N for Analida and arts, Arthropoda. Okay, Arthropoda. So Asian arts for me in his college. Okay, so pour coffee and tea in plate of Asian arts for me in this college. So now let's look at the abbreviation of everything. So P for porifera that is por P C square P C square P A cube M E H C that is por coffee tea plate Asian art uh, for me in his college. Okay, H C. So porifera C O for cylindrata. Here the uh, trick is uh, C square C square right. So uh, you will get confused whether it is chordates or cylindrata or tenophora. Easy way to remember this is we know that chordates that is humans belong to chordix and we are the highest of all. So uh, we remain in the bottom. Okay, bottom is chordates. So that confusion is over. Now the confusion is if it is uh, cylindrata or tenophora. The trick is uh, in alphabetical order O comes first, right? O after O only there is T. So A B C D F T when you go like that after O only it's T. So cylindrata comes first and uh, tenophora comes second. Okay, uh, now the next trick is um, for this. I hope you got this. Anyway, I will say it again. P for porifera, C O for cylindrata, the P C square porifera, cylindrata, tenophora. Then plates, platyhelminthes, Asian cups, A, ascalminthes, annelida arthropods, M for mollusk, E for echinodermata, H for hemichordata and C for chordata. That's all. This was very easy. Next is easy ways to learn the basis of classification. Actually, you won't find this easy way anywhere because I have made it myself. Okay. So, um, this is a, a something uh, which I have done with the help of NCRT. And NCRT, there is a uh, some... A diagram or a chart right so I had modified it uh, so that we can learn it easily okay I will show you first is cellular asymmetric and por uh, as asymmetric which is uh, show cellular level and is asymmetric which is it porifera easy way is cap okay remember this cap C for cellular A for asymmetrical and P for porifera so porifera is the only one with cellular level of organization and it is asymmetrical okay that is it, uh, it cannot be uh, broken into equal halves, so it's uh, asymmetrical porifera. Then we have tissue, tissue level of organization. Tissue level of organization is so shown by both uh, tino, uh, cylindrata and tenophora. So tissue level and radial, radial and tissue level. Those who show tissue level are radial. Okay, so those who show tissue level are radial. That is cylindrata and tenophora. Next is organ system. Organ system uh, level is shown by uh, bilateral that is a uh, platyhelminthus organ platyhelminthus so platyhelminthus is bilateral and acelomate you have to learn it as such okay if you want you can take the screenshot of this okay hope you are done okay now organ system or bilateral acelomate platyhelminthus or you can learn it as or by a plate by acelomate plate platyhelminthus by a plate 
or by a plate okay trc square that is tissue radial cylindrate and uh, tenophora trc square that is uh, ticket reservation counter closed okay ticket reservation counter is closed trc square and i'm just uh, telling this short trick and you have to learn it only if you find it necessary because you can learn it as such uh, learning this simple page isn't that hard okay next is organ level that is bilateral acetabulum platyhelminthes then we have the organ system level so first let's look at till this organ level till this organ level we know that they have incomplete digestive system so uh, these four groups the first four groups which shows uh, cellular tissue and organ level these three they have incomplete digestive system because organ system is not present so they have incomplete digestive system and then the thing is in here in porifera it's intracellular digestion and in the other three of them it's extracellular or intracellular digestion so both may be present in the other three and then you have to remember that first three groups uh, that is first three phylums are diploblastic and other all are triploblastic so first three is diploblastic and other all are triploblastic so now organ system so those who show organ system a complete digestive system they have complete digestive system because organ system is present and organs in step bilateral they are all bilateral and one pseudocoelome pseudocoelome is ascelmenthes only ascelmenthes only is pseudocoelome and other coelomates are annelida arthropoda mollusca echinodermata hemichordata and chordata okay from annelida to chordata are all coelomates the next thing is all coelomates have circulatory system while in all the others okay all others in acetabulum and pseudocoelom in these two also acetabulum this three and platyhelminth is also acetabulum so these four and plus ascelminth which is pseudocoelom they do not have circulatory system but those who are coelomate they have circulatory system easy way to remember this is coelom c and circulatory c so cc okay coelomates have circulatory system and annelida annelida see here uh, c is closed type circulatory system and o means open type circulatory system so what you, uh, you have to know is annelida and chordata have closed type circulatory system while all others have open type uh, so easy way is first and last in coelomates the so first and last have c that is closed type circulatory system while all others have open type circulatory system next is a uh, m m for metamerism we shall show metamerism the annelida arthropoda and chordata these three show metamerism easy way to learn this is first and last again first and last show metamerism and we have arthropoda also we show metamerism so you can remember it as om a guy named om he is uh, very fond of arts so art o om is an artist so arthropoda art for arthropoda and om om for open type and metamerism okay hope you got it next is uh, we learned all this right so diploblastic triploblastic everything is over now the next thing is um, adult echinoderms are radial symmetry okay uh, here we have write, uh, wrote it as echinoderms are bilateral right but the adult echinoderms are radial and the larva stage is only bilateral next we have mccann art this is uh, to know the metamerism other trick for metamerism that is mccann art mccann mechanic right mechanic art so me for metamerism ch for chordata an for annelida and r for arthropoda chordata annelida and arthropoda they show metamerism this was a easy trick to learn everything okay uh, from this one you will be asked uh, like this was very much confusing in our ncrt but i have made it in a whole in such a easy form to make it more easy for you to understand hope you understood it okay again you can go through it uh, if you have taken the screenshot it will be easy for you if you learn it as such next we have the type of fertilization whether it is internal or external or both okay for external fertilization the trick is confidently continue higher education after exams confidently we are asking someone to continue the higher education after exam confidently so confidently continue higher education after exams okay confidence c o for cylindrata continue you can see n continue continue t okay continue t so ct that is tenophora higher education high for 
hemichorida because only uh, hemichorida starts with h in the, all these phylums and e also the same case in education e echinodermata after exams exams i have brought this exams here to show that external fertilization okay to make it easy for you to know that is external fertilization okay so confidently continue higher education after exams next is internal or external fertilization ac ac annelida and chordata they show internal or external fertilization can be internal or external too ac while all others show internal fertilization okay all other phylums show internal fertilization next is type of development okay type of development whether it is direct or indirect of both so first we will look at the indirect but uh, there's no need to learn this uh, trick if you know the direct or indirect development okay i will tell you direct or indirect development is shown by a cube that is annelida escalmentans and arthropoda three of them show direct or indirect both okay direct or indirect and in chordates direct development take place except cyclostomata where it may be direct or indirect and in amphibia tadpole or exotile larva is indirect they show indirect development so all the chordates show direct development except these two okay and other all show indirect development so if you want to learn indirect development that is a trick but there will be no need anyway i will say the trick that is high pour coffee and tea in dark electric mug please so high pour coffee hemichordata porifera cylindrata tenophora in dark in dark to show that indirect development indirect development and electric mug please electric for echinodermata mug for mollusca and please for platyhelminthes okay hope you uh, found it helpful next the tricks to learn examples of each phylum so now we are going to learn uh, the trick to learn the examples of each phylum okay uh, first is for polyphera for polyphera the trick is psycho use sponge to do portrait so that is a psycho he use only sponge to do portraits to do paintings or portraits okay here about the tricks i will tell you something that is every in every trick the end of every trick will have the phylum name to make it easy for you okay so end end portrait for a polyphera and like that in every trick the end will be the phylum okay so polyphera psycho use sponge to do portrait psycho for psychon that is kaifa Use for use spongia, bud sponge, sponge, sponge for spongilla, freshwater sponge, and portrait for porifera. Next is for cylindrata. The uh, trick is meanwhile Adam got pen from physician as compliment. So a physician gave Adam a pen as a compliment. So uh, we are saying it as meanwhile Adam got pen from physician as compliment. For meanwhile it is meandrina that is brain coral. Adam for Adams here, God that is Gorgonia sea fan, pen for Penatula sea pen from physician, physician for Physalia that is Portuguese man of war, and compliment that is cylindric at the end. Okay, at every end of the trick that will be the phylum compliment that is cylindrica C O cylindrica. Next is the trick for Tina Fora. The trick for Tina Fora is plain T. That's very simple, plain T. Plain for Pleurobrachia and T for Tenoplana and a same T for Tenophora. Okay. Next is the trick for Platyhelminthes. The trick is fashion tape player. We know that right? A uh, tape player. Ah, uh, in olden days we used to have some kind of tape player in our home, right? In which uh, the tape will be inserted into the player. Okay. So this tape player is fashionable. So fashion tape player. Fashion for fasciola that is liver fluke, T for tinea that is tapeworm, player for platyhelminthes. As I said, the ending will be the phylum. Next is ascalminthes. Ansi asked which is Asia. So Ansi, Ansi is asking us which is Asia. It was easy. That is A Ansi for Ancyclostomata that is hookworm. As for Ascaris that is roundworm. Which for Wichiria, Filaria worm. And Asia for Ascalmentus. And see us, which is Asia. Next is Annelida. For Annelida, the trick is nerd fellow hired sea lion for annual day. So a nerd fellow in school, he hired sea lion for annual day. So nerd for Nerus, fellow for Feridima, hired for Hirudnaria, 
see line for sucking leech that is hidden area is known as sucking leech and this question will be asked okay so height for hidden area and see line for sucking leech and annual day annelida annelida a n n n d a okay annual day annelida so when you uh, remember this trick itself you will get to know that which phylum it is next is arthropoda in arthropoda there are various examples that is the insects and arthropoda is the first largest phylum of all okay so economic importance is bombay apple lack so bombay apple cost lakhs of rupees so bombay apple lack bombay for bombix that is silkworm apple for apples that is honey bee lack that is for lacifer lack insect and lack uh, by remembering this lack we can know that it's economic okay next is vector an ac motor vehicle and for anopheles ac for aids and aids and culex and motor for mosquitoes and vehicle for vectors next is gregarious pest and that is those which group and which occur in group okay local greeting okay local greeting the trick is local greeting local for lacusta that is locust and greeting for gregarious then living forces that is uh, that is a live line or lily lily or live line that is living limulus king crab limulus is king crab okay next trick is for mollusca in mollusca there are various of examples so it was really hard to make it anyway i have tried my best to make something okay it is dentist said pin a chart and apply pile of lotion on october morning so uh, we went to a dentist and he said us to uh, pin a chart okay to look the month okay to write the cal just like a calendar he asked us to pin a chart okay you can learn it as chart or calendar as you wish okay dentist said pin a chart and apply pile of lotion so there is a pile which is full of lotions okay so he asked us to apply that pile of lotion on october morning so in this whole month of october morning we are asked to apply that pile of lotion so dentist said pin a chart and apply pile of lotion on october morning dentist for dentalium that is tusk shell said for sepia cuttle fish pin for pintata that is pearl oyster chart for catopleura chitin apply for aplysia cr pile for pila that is apple snail lotion for loligo that is squid october for octobers that is devil fish and morning for mollusca mollusca next is echinodermata for echinodermata the trick is each anti opted cucumber as eatable so uh, each anti has uh, said that cucumber is the eatable thing which is present there so there were many things present and they were uh, asked to opt which of the following can be eatable so each anti present there that is each anti opted cucumber as eatable each for echinus that is sea urchin and other trickers echinodermata echinus as the name suggest anti for antidan that is sea lily opted opiora that is brittle star and cucumber cucumeria that is sea cucumber and as for asterias that is starfish and eatable for echinodermata okay echinodermata starfish comes under echinodermata don't forget that next is hemichordata the trick is bala saved her so bala again and bala saved her so bala for balanoglossus saved for sacoglossus and her for hemichordata so those which end with glosses glosses comes under hemichordata okay these were the short tricks for this chapter hope you found this video helpful if you really like this video then please do comment share and subscribe to my youtube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon and please do like this video also thank you all the best for your exams